Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 73 of Let's Platinum Neo 2 Remastered. Today, I want to do a few things. Let's get started by selling a bunch of our uncommons and the rares for, the, for these ones, get rid of that. I also went ahead and went to my uh, storehouse, or I went to my regular item box and I put a bunch of items in my storehouse, like all of this can pretty much go. I'll just quickly like go through it like that so that you can see what's in there. There's nothing too special. I just got rid of like a bunch of stuff that was like not that great and because they're like really low level now. So I just thought, eh. The only one that maybe is worth keeping is like this one has a final blow damage on it. Actually, let me just check something on that. Just quickly go through all these. Final blow damage of how much? 8.6 and then one of these had the same thing 8.5 okay that's a difference of a lot of levels and yeah not much thing anyway i just thought i'd get rid of it i'm also getting rid of this wooden sword i know it has the proficiency bonus on it but i'm honestly not going to use a level 5 wooden sword to to do that so i will just uh, uh r2 disassemble everything that frees up a lot of extra space now one thing i want to do for an upcoming mission is I want to get an axe and I want to get one that has imbued corruption. So it's either going to be Ipondatras or Demon's Axe. I've actually been using the Ipondatras off screen. I honestly don't think there's much difference between the two. Uh, Pleiades is actually a good ability that you can get when you kill an enemy and the corruption, I'm going to try and use it, but it's not going to be like the main thing. And it's not like my idea is not perfect, but I just thought I'd give it a shot. Let's make this one and see if I can get a an exotic and hopefully if I do get an exotic it can be a plus one because that's what happened on practice okay this is not going well so far okay okay interesting luckily I've got a lot of Vipon Dutra fangs okay it's not a plus one which kind of sucks but oh well it is what it is so we got one of those, you know what, just, uh, just out of curiosity, let's see if I make a demon's axe, just one, let's see what happens, because blood crusted, blood encrusted sawtooth is harder to come by, hey, I made one, but it wasn't plus one, okay, well I have two to, to deal with, let's get rid of all of the, the ones that I don't want, so gone, 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 I'll keep that one, and I'll keep this demon's axe here, we're going to use that later on for now, let's keep things as they are, Something cool, I actually discovered that I wasn't an idiot and I did lock this Wisdom Sutra. I thought I had it, so I'm going to put that back on and now our T utensil rate went from 19.5% to 24.5%, which is kind of crazy. Okay, for today, we're going to get our... not that one. I also made that favorite, made that a favorite. It's like level 100. Oh, I forgot to get rid of the blue ones. I'll do that in a sec. I want my Iron Tonfa, everything else is good, can stay the same. I need my fire based ones again. Where's fire? This one is one, make this favorite. And Japanese scissors, change to this gourd I believe, which is locked and also a favorite. Okay, pretty sure that's all correct, good. I need to get our Guardian Spirit going. Change that around. So nine tails. I, I think I changed that <laughs> off screen. Sorry. I think it was a. Uh, I think it was on, Yon Army. So we'll leave it like that. Soul core drop rate. Why not? So I'll just double check. How do I check the second one? Well, it's there. Okay, that's good. And I think we're good to go. I'm gonna try. So, got a decent amount of luck. What is our luck? It's not as good as it was, but it's still okay. 48, yeah. It's not nothing too special. Okay, let's try and do Farewell to the Past. I know this is very sudden, but I am in need of someone who can face a certain man. He was a fellow servant of Buddha, an acquaintance from long, long ago. I thought that he had long turned to dust, but it would appear that death has not yet taken him completely. Please, do all you can to help him finally rest in peace. Okay, I actually don't know if uh, my... <laughs> Uh, jutsus are good, but do I have at least one Lockbringer? That would be really nice. I don't think I do, but let's have a look. Oh, I do. Okay, that's good. 
let me change, let me put, um, Sloth is nice. Let's get rid of this one. Just put Luckbringer on here. Alright, so this mission is kind of tough, but we should be okay. It's just a gauntlet against a lot of enemies. I'm going to use the Luckbringer for well, a little bit closer to the end. I took a lot of damage right there. Okay, now I can't remember which abilities they have for my Tonfa. I haven't really been playing it too much. I probably don't have the right ability, or the one that I'm thinking of at least. Yeah, based on the fact that it's not coming out. This is still pretty good. One thing I've discovered is that using the Tonfa for, or at least when I have more abilities for it, using it for defeating human enemies I think is really good. Good. It, uh, it really comes into its own afterwards. Okay, I got hit with the weakness. Perfect, that was really good. Another thing is to sort of like, not take it slow, but definitely be methodical about your button presses. Rather than just spamming, because the, the, once you sort of get used to it, you start to, you tend to go that way and it's not really the best thing to do. Okay, this is going okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't even know what I did there. Take this. I also love the additions that they've made compared to what it was. Okay, let's buff up. He's gonna drop right here. No, he's gonna drop there. All right. So do not take. Uh, this is actually a catchy. This is um, 10k, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Do not take him lightly. He is quite powerful. His moves do a lot, of, a lot of damage. If you can get a counter on him like that, you're going really well because you just used a key seal or whatever it's called, where essentially all of his his key doesn't recover as much. I got hit with the lightning debuff, electrified, so I was moving very slow. Smack him. Watch out for that as well. Fire doesn't really work that great on him, but that's alright. Try this. That was kind of lucky. Just make sure you keep healing and watch out for these things. Nice. I actually didn't know the timing of that one, but it worked out. Come on, come on. Just a few more hits. One, two, three, pop. Let me win this. Let me win this. Take this. <laughs> yes. My luck bring is about to run out, so hopefully I can kill him before it does. Take this. Take ah, it <laughs> just ran out. <laughs> well, I tried. At least I beat him. Whew. All right, that will go much easier once if you have better skill, if you have more skills, and I'll show those off soon. All right, let's go forward. That was fun. That was fun. I'll get another skill point on the menu in a moment here. 400 elixirs, nice. You have my deep, uh, sorry, you have my gratitude. Through your deeds, he can finally pass on to the next life. If Tokichiro fell at Kanagasaki, then perhaps things would be... No, no, it is already too late for such words. That sword is now in need of a master. If it calls to you, then it is yours to wield. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and go to the blacksmith. We will disassemble everything that is rare or below, and I'll just absolutely make sure that I don't want to get rid of anything. I mean, that would be okay to keep, but then we'd be keeping everything. Let's get rid of that. That's the same thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything else is okay to get rid of, as long as these ones stay. Prolific, it's, you know, no, we don't need this. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, did I get rid of the... No, I didn't, I don't think. I also, yeah, got rid of a bunch of armor gear so it's all here nothing there wasn't anything to particularly you know crazy good about these they were low level so i was just like all right i'm gonna get rid of them so let's check all and then do that how much are we on now let me have a look at what i can buy anything special no 
Okay, let's have a look at where we're, where we're at. Okay, so I know I have one dojo mission that I can do. I just want to see something. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I just want to see. Yeah, let's. I to be honest with you, I don't think I've even done this dojo mission on practice, but I can do this one. I forgot. I I don't know when this unlocked. I I may have just forgotten about it by accident, but I'll do the way of the Onmyo veteran because this is going to be very worthwhile. <laughs> no, hmm, it is impressive indeed to see how far you've come. Perhaps it is time to pass on some even greater magic. Should you overcome this challenge, you can take your place as one of the top Onmyo mages. But naturally, such power will not give, be given easily. Are you ready? I am, and I usually start that straight away, but I just realized something. I can't quite remember because it's been a little while since I did this, but I believe... Where is it? There. I believe... Or is it water? I don't remember if it's water or lightning. I thought it was water, but... Uh, you know what? Let's just go with the Tomfa. It should be fine. I, I This might not be as good with the Tonfa, but I'm going to try anyway, so it's fine. Alright, here we go. Okay, we've got a Tesso. These missions, by the way, don't, don't take them lightly. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> Oh, I've got to get the new skill. That's fine. I'm not really going to use the, the stuff that they've given me just yet. Nice. Yeah, the the fact that you get to keep those extra skills, like the ones for doing um, like demon dance heaven and all that, is really good. All right, let's uh, let's grab one of these. Now I can defeat you. With you, I'm gonna chuck one of these on. Nice. Nice. Got fired up. Okay, one, two, three. Completely missed. Hmm. Okay, so that's one debuff that went away almost completely. How about some of this? And again. I can't remember what this one is. Fire stop or something? Yeah. Two, three. Oh, it's probably Barrier Talisman. Nice, good dodge. <laughs> one, two. That's lost, lost a long time on there. Okay, we're almost there. One, two. One, two, three. And I think we're good. Is that it? Nope, one more. Let me drink an elixir. Oh no, that's it. Yay! That was actually alright. I don't think I can talk to him, unfortunately. Okay, cool. Well, we did that. Go forward. Yay, and now we unlocked the veteran level of Onmyo magic. I can't even remember if there's anything worthwhile getting from it, but yeah. There's something. Most impressive. You have already surpassed the level of most on your mages. I would go as far as to say you have within the power within you the power to restore balance to this world. I would only ask that you refrain from misusing this power, as my one-time rival Dolman did. Remember, also not remember also not to neglect your studies. I sense you have yet to reach the end of your path. Cool. So let's have a look. We got a let's go to the Tomfa first. I want to get not that one. This one. So in order to get this one, I need to get this one. So focus strike, builds up, builds up power while moving slowly, then releases it in a single devastating blow. It's pretty good. You hold triangle and you can do some good damage. But what we really want is this one here. Demon dash. Yeah, demon dash. Use the left thumb to swiftly dart forward after a successful key pulse. And then you can get this one, demon fang. So you dart forward. If you hit an enemy, he'll do this like spinning tonfa move. So you don't see it there. Oh no, you do see it there. Here, there's a spinning time for move, and then after you do that, you press triangle, and if it causes the enemy to run out of key, which considering that Tonfa just does so much key damage, you press triangle and it, you get a follow-up attack, and it's just very versatile. This one's really cool, Fleet Foot. I think this would actually be good for um, like speed runs of missions. You dodge, and then you press triangle while you're dodging. It has to be in mid and low stance. Um, it's like, I don't use it that much, but I, it, I did get it during practice, and I thought it was really cool. Uh, let's go, what can we get now? Cause we got 
veteran. So we can get some Sanctity Talismans. We can get Carnage Talismans. Oh, actually, Soul Leech. Hmm. I actually don't know what I want <laughs> with this one. Earth Earth Folding is okay. You can return to the last shrine you prayed at, so that's all right. What we really want are these ones, like Amplification and Awakening, but we can't get those just yet. Life Seal. I don't have any Life Seal, but like something tells me that it's worth worth it to go for Life Seal. Lightning Familiar. Yeah, this stuff could be interesting. Uh, which one do we... Oh, Guardian Spirit. I like Guardian Spirit. Let's try doing that one. We'll get this Blessed Bolt. And then we'll go for Guardian Spirit. Okay, how much time do we have left? Four minutes. You know what? I'm going to read some of the descriptions because I've fallen well behind on this. So let's just try and go through it as quickly as possible. I haven't got much time left. I'm never going to get to the bloody character directories. But anyway, let's see. Against opponents bearing Amrita, one-eyed imps use their long tongues as a whip to attack. Each blow from their tongue steals some Amrita, which the one-eyed imp uses to grow larger and more powerful. If they must be fought, it is best to defeat them before this transformation advances too far. Apparently, these yokai aren't smart enough to use weapons other than their fists or great rocks which they throw at their victims. However, as they are more than twice as large as a person, their sheer physical strength allows them to smash overconfident foes flat with a single blow. The Red Kappa is a special kind of kappa found in the land of Tono in northern Mutsu province. Although they also have the dish-like depression on their heads and turtle-like shell on their backs, like regular kappa, their skin is actually reddish in colour. Additionally, they do not flee at the sight of humans and have been known to attack children and women who wander near the rivers where they dwell. However, it is said that some of them have abandoned their evil ways after being captured. There is a location known as Kappa Buchi in Tono where many red kappa can be found. They look really cool. These guys are dangerous, man. They're, they're difficult to beat sometimes. An Ubumi is very wary of those who approach it and will stubbornly continue to attack these brave individuals in an attempt to intimidate them. While these persistent attacks are dangerous in themselves, Ubumi's keening whales also have the effect of weakening the key of anyone in close range, quickly rendering even the toughest of opponents defenseless. While it is always important to carefully measure one's timing in battle, it is doubly so when in battle with Ubumi. Their bodies are made of jelly-like water, and despite their weapons, they attack only weakly. The faintly shining sphere at their core is said to be their vulnerable point, and there are legends of fishermen who successfully drove off attacking Ko Umi Bozu by harpooning this sphere when it happened to be exposed at the right time. Enenra is sometimes linked to Enma, the god of hell in Buddhist mythology. It is said to appear in a wreath of hellfire, licked by scorching flames so hot a human would instantly be turned to ash. One wonders if a douse of ice-cold water may be enough to gain the upper hand in battle against this fiery yokai. Any others? Ryomen Sukuna. Ryomen Sukuna's unusual form is composed of two demons, red and blue, who are joined at their backs. It is said to have first materialized during the rule of Emperor Nintoku in Hida Province, modern-day Gifu Pre Prefecture, terrorizing and stealing from the populace using the weapons in its four hands. A man named Take Furukuma, who was famous for his heroism, was dispatched to defeat Ryomen Sukuna and succeeded. The Ryomen Sukuna on Mount Tenno was once Saito Toshimitsu, who excelled at both martial combat and onmyo magic. Each of Ryomen Sukuna's halves possess possesses its own temperament. The red demon fights like fire, violently and aggressively, while the blue demon fights like ice, with cool-headed cunning. The key to defeating Ryom and Sukuna is to tailor your approach to the half you are facing. Attacking each half with the element it is vulnerable is also sure to give you an advantage in battle. I think that with the element it is vulnerable to is also sure to give you an advantage in battle. While Ryom and Sukuna was recorded as a cruel yokai in the Nihon Shoki, there are many tales originating from Hida province that describe it differently. In the most memorable of these tales, Ryomen Sukuna is described as the hero that vanquished the demon Shichina and a poisonous dragon, leading it to be worshipped at temples and shrines. It is perhaps appropriate to conclude that just like countless other gods and yokai, Ryomen Sukuna could be both a benevolent Nigitama or malevolent Ar Aratama as the situation demanded. Yeah, I like the change things there. Should be finished on this one, right? Yay, we finished it. No, we didn't. What have I missed? 
I must have missed one. Give me a second to work this out. Okay, I found it. It was the Kasha one. It is no easy task to predict the next movement of a wildly careening Kasha. The flames it leaves in its wake make it a difficult yokai to chase, not to mention the fact that it can trap you in a precarious position with nowhere to run. The first step to defeating this yokai is to find a way to deal with its flames. Be certain to also stay vigilant of your surroundings, as Kasha has been known to use the dead it has stolen to fight in its stead. Awesome. Alright, well we got through that. There's probably a few Guardian Spirit illustrations. We can knock these ones out because it's just like doing that. All right, um, so I guess next time we're going to do the main mission, the Two Faces of hosp Hospitality. What's really annoying is I actually have this uh, Twilight mission to do here, the Cursed Castle Ruins, which I, I hate this one because it's, um, I think it's a Nagamasa, Azai Nagamasa, who was very difficult for me to beat. But I'm sure I can do a much better job this time around, so I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I'll figure it out next time. All right, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 73 of Lost Partner Neo 2 Remastered. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.